Morning guys, it's Grant from Grant from Fitness and Jets Ground. And I'm here this morning in a video in response to a question I received on my Facebook page from Virginia Dirks back in the UK. Now Virginia um, wrote to me saying she was looking to increase her core strength and stability and her arm strength. Now to start off with, when I look at people who are just starting training, the most important thing is getting upper body and lower body strength. Now upper body strength comes, in my opinion, from doing things like push-ups and pull-ups. Once you're able to control your body with push-ups and pull-ups, that's when I'll start looking to, to use weights and things as well. But a lot of people when they start training can't do full push-ups, can't do full pull-ups. So there's ways that you can build up to them. Okay, what I'm going to do today is just go through a quick routine that I would give most of my beginners if they're looking for upper body strength, um, just to get that pushing and pulling strength, chest back, triceps, biceps, shoulders, and forearms strong. Okay? So, First thing I would do is knee plank push up. We've already done a video um, about not doing push ups on the knees and how we should do um, knee plank push up and build up your forward. So, an knee plank push up basically it's sniff your shin, set the bar so it's um, kind of hip to knee height, put one leg into a plank position, push, come up. Okay, nice and simple exercise. I would start off doing two sets of 12, build up to three sets of 12. Once three sets of 12 are easy, lower the bar. Yeah, and again, we do the same thing. Three sets of 12 at a lower height, eventually you get down to the foot. Next thing I'm going to do is the inverted break. So again, we need to spin the shoe, set the bar about the same height. We go underneath the bar, shoulders directly beneath the bar, hang on, push your hips up high, squeeze your arm along the foot, very easy. Again, when you're right, it's important you keep your elbow down, squeeze your back together, don't round your shoulder in this way. Okay? So, again, same with the push up. I do three, two sets of 12 to start off with, build up to three sets of 12, and then you can start doing things like adding weight to yourself, um, raise your feet off the floor to increase the difficulty, but just do it to start off with, get up to three sets of 12. Next exercise I would do, I'm going to be a plank. So we're going to push, pull, and now we're going to do another push. Well, a plank on your elbows from here, and all you're going to do is you place your hand where your elbow was, push up on the other side, come back down, switch. And yeah, each time I'm going, I'm alternating arm, up and down. Boom. Again, working my whole core, working my triceps, working my chest, working my forearms, building that pushing power. Okay, so we've had. Incline push up, inverted row, plank drill. The next thing I would do would be a renegade row. Okay, you can get a pair of dumbbells. Place the dumbbells fairly close together so that you're not out here with the dumbbells. They're touching in the middle. Get yourself into a plank position. Okay, make sure you're nice and stable. And there you're going to throw the weights up to your hips. Alternating, alternating. Making sure when you're rowing, you're not rolling your body here. You want to keep everything tight, keep your hips facing the floor, elbow up high, squeeze the weight into your hips. Okay? You get two sets of 12 to start off with, get up to three sets of 12, then you can increase your weight. If you're having difficulty balancing on the two dumbbells, go down to a single dumbbell. You can just alternate your hands. Here. Yeah. So, so far we have two pushes, two pulls. I'm always going to program in one more pull and hand to uh, push, just because most people have internally rotated shoulders, have a spontaneous posture, so it's important to get your, your arms working backwards. So, the last exercise I'm going to do get some barbells, stand up with your barbell, bend over to your, your at the waist, uh, to the flat back. Keep your back nice and straight, and you can have just blow your knees. What you do is throw your barbell up, and your chest. Here. Keep the weight in your 12 repetitions. Do two sets of 12, same as the others, but like three sets of 12. And there you go, Virginia. Hopefully, that will give you a good basic upper body workout. Also work with your core in every single exercise. Okay, so you've got an push up, inverted row, plank build, renegade row, bent over. Okay, give it a go, try it for three, four weeks, see how you get on.